Hello and welcome to my channel. To, dear friends, today I am going to discuss about the noise criteria curves. Noise criteria level is standard that describes the relative loudness of a space examining a range of frequencies. These are those frequencies which uh, constantly comes from a source which are creating noise at different levels or uh, during the daytime or during the night time. These uh, frequencies have different um, decibels or we can say these are uh, some frequencies those are in small range and some frequencies there are some frequencies are in the larger range. Noise criteria were established in the US for rating indoor noise. Noise from air conditioning equipment, etc. In Europe, it is common it is common to use the noise rating curve or noise criteria curves. The method consists of a set of criteria curves extending from 63 to 8000 Hz and a tendency rating procedures. The criteria curves define the limits of octane band spectra that must not be exceeded to meet the occupant's acceptance in certain spaces. On this criteria, it has been initially used for the indoors actually, while there is a limit of frequencies to some extent and that if any noise fluctuation comes beyond this frequency which can disturb any occupant or which can disturb any, anyone's restlessness and on those basis these noise criteria curves have been set to measure the various kinds of frequencies that are coming from the various indoor noise sources. Okay, look at this picture. This picture shows different sound pressures in the decibels and frequencies. The noise criteria rating can be obtained by plotting the octave band levels for a given noise spectrum that is called the noise curves, which are clearly represented in this uh, picture. Here, these are various kinds of uh, um, sound pressure levels. Uh, which, have, uh, which have different frequencies and this is we are representative frequencies uh, and in this really axis depends the and this is our pressure level in the decibels okay this is one another graph which is a graph of octave band which is of center frequencies these are given the various frequencies and, and different uh, frequencies having different decibels of the sound pressure levels. So, the noise criteria curves are the first such curves developed in the world and are classified with ASA that is American Statistical Association and ASI American National Standard Institute Specifications. They are particularly used in the various acoustic space for quantitatively rating residual noise and inference from all sources including HDAC that is heating, ventilation, air conditioning. As I already told you people that these noise criteria curves are usually used for the indoor systems while a different sound pressure levels having various kinds of disciplines say for example 50, say for example 60, 70, 40, 45, 30 or below 30. Here it is given in the various noise criteria with the different color codes. Say for example we, uh, if here you will have a look on these different color codes having the noise criteria different decibels having various frequencies. Okay, now let's talk about the recommended noise criteria. Noise criteria. These are the various kinds of the different uh, recommended noise criteria. Uh, noise criteria curves having different decibels. These are the sources of the type type of the room or space type. 
residence apartment. Here it is nice, it is 25 to 35. While disabled on the evil skill is 35 to 45. Similarly, uh, assembly hall is 25 to 30. A uh, noise character level. Here it is disabled and AVT 35 to A and so on and so forth. It, these are the different categories like we are talking about the residences, hotels, offices, hospitals, and clinics, schools, etc. These are the various different indoor sources having different noise criteria curves and uh, different uh, decibels which are these are all recommended uh, recommended by such a curves for different sources here's a one more example which estimation of the noise criteria curve these criteria curves noise criteria of noise spectrum like this these are the frequencies and these are the noise uh, pressure level and at the decibels Okay, the noise criteria is a single numerical index commonly used to define design goal for the maximum allowable noise in a given space. They primarily apply to the noise pro produced by a ventilation system, but they may be applied to the other noise sources as well. The noise criteria constant consist of a family of a curves which you uh, have presented in the previous slides that defines the maximum elevable octave band sound pressure level corresponding to a chosen noise criteria design and go. Here, here is one more example of this uh, acceptable limiters of the noise these are the spaces and these are the noise criteria for example, if we talk about the lab office, the noise criteria should be 35. Laboratory, it should be 35. Instrument room, it should be 40. The controlled temperature room, it should be 45. Dark room, 35. In glass wash, 45. Similarly, there are the various spaces which have different noise criteria which are recommended by the various standard agencies. This is the uh, noise criteria level for the rooms. Here uh, it is a type of a space, uh, acoustic requirements, where the acoustic requirement or noise levels, which, what is the recommended acoustic noise requirement for those such spaces. Like uh, we take an example of a conference room, church, lecture hall, or classroom. Then a recommended noise criteria is 30 to 35. Similarly, if we take an example of the open office, schools, lobbies, public areas, the noise criteria is recommended from 30 to 35 to 40. Here are some other examples like uh, large public offices, noise criteria is 40 to 45. Or we, when we come into commercial spaces like shoppers, garages, etc. For just acceptable speech and telephone communication, the noise criteria is 50 to 60 and so on. Thank you for watching this lecture. Dear friends, for such type of lectures, kindly subscribe this YouTube channel.